Boo! Um, today we're tasting grapes. Uh, well, really, we taste them every day, but today we're filming tasting grapes. This is a Merlot vine, and it's really, really close to being ready. The season's been a little late, but it's catching up pretty fast. It's a little after dawn right now, well, a lot after dawn right now. It's like 9 o'clock. And um, we can taste some grapes. Now, during the lab tests, which we're about to do later today, we collect a, a berry sample of 100 or 200 berries. It looks something like this. They almost kind of look like blueberries. <laughs> but they're grapes. Delicious, delicious grapes. Uh, if we want to test this parcel of Merlot, I'll walk through several rows of Merlot, picking like 20 grapes from each row and that I walk through. And, and that way you kind of get a wide array, because some grapes are, are going to be riper than others. And, and you even have to be careful about those, those random tests, because uh, a lot of the time, if you're, if you're looking at the grapes while you pick them, you'll pick the same type of grape, like the bigger ones on the outside edges, or you'll always go for the bottom one, or you, you might reach over the grapes and take whichever one comes off first. But that's wrong, because then you're always, you're always getting the same kind. Like, the one that comes off first is going to be the ripest, usually, and the one that's always over here is going to be, yeah, yeah. So, you got to be careful. But we're just tasting right now, so it's really arbitrary. Uh, it's just to get a kind of... Uh, uh, a good guess at what they're like. So you take a random grape. Let's take one on screen. Ooh, this is so Bacchanalian. Ta-da! Now this grape is going to be uh, put in my mouth and you chew it. And that's how we determine most of, of, uh, of, of uh, the sugar and acid levels before the uh, actual lab test. Mmm. 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 It's real sweet. Now, these are obviously not table grapes, so you end up with a with a, a raisin that's gonna be a, have a little kick to it, have that sort of bitter side that wine has, the dry side that people call it. But because we wait so long and we get really mature grapes, um, it actually is really sweet. You can eat these. A baby might eat these. My dog eats these when they're on the ground. Um, and then after tasting, you can also look at the seeds. And uh, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but these seeds are pretty brown, which is good. It's, uh, it's a good sign if they show less green in them. And, uh, and that's another sign that they're kind of ready. Another thing you can do is actually eat the seed. And uh, when you bite into it, if it's got a lot of nuttiness and sort of good flavors. That's good. It's going to bring a lot of tannin and a lot of stuff to the wine during the maceration and the fermentation. If it's a little bitter, then that's bad because it means that the, wine, the grape still has some time to grow and to mature. But it's good. Yeah. If you want to see how we uh, mash these up and put them on the refractometer to see the potential alcohol level determined by the sugar, then check out One Acre in Napa Valley. There's a really cool description on that blog, which I'll link to in the info. Grapes!